Hello, my name is Andy van der Wolfstein. I am um, a bit late with submitting my movie, but uh, that's because I just returned from Australia and I didn't have any opportunities to make a movie over there. Um, what I want to talk to uh, the audience about is um, about cities becoming resilient to energy crises. Cities becoming self-dependent by not using fossil fuels anymore. And it's important to understand what a city is like. If this is an icon for a city, uh, at the moment, there's a lot of materials, water, energy, and food coming into the building, and a lot of waste water, waste materials, waste energy, and waste food, nutrients coming out of it. Uh, at the moment, it's a problem if something hampers on the inside, uh, the input side of, of uh, a city, then, of course, you cannot produce any waste. But the problem is, of course, that the city is not supplied anymore with these enormous uh, quantities. And this is a serious threat in the future, which has already happened several times. That, for instance, with uh, the provision of electricity, power plants uh, have a black, uh, blackout, that terrorist attacks uh, hamper, that there are uh, climate uh, disasters happening. So um, we need to think about different solutions. I want to show you that this can be done in a different way. For if we look at a city and consider it a model like this, first, of course, to make it more resilient, we need to reduce the demand of energy, materials, water, by simply saving energy, saving materials, saving water. Uh, that's the first step to make it less dependent on outside. And the second step would be to think about reusing every bit of waste streams within the city. So, optimizing the reuse of all waste flows coming from buildings and the built environment. Now, apart from that, it's smart to think about the city region, because the city doesn't stand on its own. So, the region around it, which could be a metropolitan area, um, has a lot more space to produce uh, food, water and materials, and energy uh, from which the, the main city can profit. So there should be an interaction between these two. Now, and additionally, of course, there's also the possibility of producing within the city. Think of PV panels, think of uh, um, generation of food by urban agriculture. It's local, it can be done in the city itself, but it's more likely that uh, it is actually done in the city region again. So, this together should lead to a much more stable system in which uh, every stream uh, can be better managed. Now, in the lecture that I want to give, uh, I will show uh, all kinds of examples for every bit, also including the reusing of waste streams in the city, including the storage systems that we need in cities to make it more resilient so that we don't need as much input or we don't produce too much waste on the output side anymore. I hope you're interested to see my lecture. This is just a very uh, low-tech example. I have beautiful pictures to show you uh, in the real presentation.